Hello guys, this is Captain388. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all having a good Friday so far. So I'm going to do a different type of video today. Um, I'm not going to talk about a model or a review. It's going to be just talking about, I'm going to talk to you about my flight tracking uh, journal. Um, so basically what happened is uh, late last year, about around the last week of December of last year, almost a year ago, um, I I came up with the idea of doing a fun little project. Uh, yeah, a little project, I guess you can call it. Um, and I decided that I wanted to track an aircraft, like one aircraft the whole year. Um, so before the year ended, I started thinking of what air what aircraft to track, what specific aircraft I wanted to follow. Um, and I wanted I wanted it to be an aircraft that would be easy to track. Uh, and I use FlightAware. FlightAware, for those of you who don't know, is a popular uh, flight tracking uh, website. You can track any flight here in the U.S. for free. You just type in either the flight number or the uh, tail number, and it gives you the flights of that uh, aircraft, and you can track it. You can see where it's going, where it's been, and uh, where it is right now. Um, so, FlightAware is only it only works for US flights or flights within the US uh, it won't work for flights anywhere around the world uh, anywhere else around the world uh, and there are other popular websites that that uh, like flight radar 24 or yeah flight radar 24 I think it's called where you can that one works globally but I just wanted to stick with flight aware I trust that website and I like it so I had to choose a domestic aircraft basically um, and I said, okay, you have a bunch of airlines like Allegiant, Virgin America, Southwest, JetBlue, you know, um, all these airlines that are domestic. So I had to choose an airline first. So out of all the domestic airlines here in the U.S., I chose Frontier. I, I, I like Frontier. I don't know. I've had a, it's one of my favorite airlines, Frontier Airlines. So I chose Frontier. And then I had to choose a specific aircraft from Frontier to follow. So I, I basically chose this aircraft by uh, choosing an animal. <laughs> That's basically the best way I chose it. Uh, as many of you know, uh, Frontier, each aircraft has a different animal on the tail. So I went through all of their aircraft and um, I also wanted a new aircraft because I, don't want, I didn't want this aircraft to... I didn't want to tr start tracking an aircraft and then in the middle of the year they take it out of service you know so then I'm stuck with nothing you know half of nothing basically so I want an aircraft that's kind of new to the fleet and um, I know for sure it's gonna be in the fleet at least for this year for this whole year so I ended up going through the animal list and looking at the at the information for each aircraft and I finally settled on one I settled on on this aircraft it's is registration number N945 FR which is the moose uh, and it's it's um, the, the name of the moose is chocolate so that, that also kind of interested me the name chocolate I like chocolate so so I chose that aircraft and starting January 1st of 2011 this year I started tracking it so I got this notebook here and I just started tracking every single flight that that aircraft has made and so far it's it's November already it's almost gonna be a year and it, I was gonna the plan was to track this aircraft from from January 1st, 2011 to December 31st, 2011, a whole year. And then just at the end, uh, gather up how many flights that aircraft did, how many miles, how many uh, destinations did it fly to, um, what else? Yeah, basically the stats, get stats. And that's what I've been doing for the past few, for the past 11 months, I guess. Uh, right now, this is how much I've done so far all of this um, so yeah so basically what I did is I got this journal and this journal is dedicated to that aircraft as you can see I just put a quick thing here let me try to show it to you here so Frontier Airlines and then the registration number N940, N945FR 2011 um, and then inside I just put some quick info of the aircraft so there's the tail that's the aircraft um, there's a registration N945 FR. The model it's an A319 100. Manufacturer Airbus serial number 2751. The year it's a 2006 model. 
uh, the engine CFM 5685-P slash P sorry the owner the owner of this aircraft is AFS investments the name of this aircraft is chocolate the moose and the tracking period is from January 2011 to December 2011 okay. so yeah so and basically what I the information I gather I don't gather the whole information all I gather or all I'm looking for is for example here's a good example this is Sunday ja January 2nd right so basically what I gather is the flight number or yeah, the other flight number in this case it's FFT 766 the origin the destination and then TT is total time for that flight CA is cruising altitude and then the, the time of departure, in this case it's 7.34 a.m. Pacific time. And then time of arrival, in this case it's 10.10 10 a.m. Mountain time. And then TD is the total distance of that flight, in this case it's 631 miles. And then CS is the cruising speed of, this air, of, this, of the aircraft in this flight. In this case it's 432 knots. So it's a quick look at the flight. You know, it's not bad detail but it's just the basic the the most important information the destination the origin the time the total time the, the mileage and cruising altitude cruising speed so just the most important info you know and I've been doing that basically for every flight so every night uh, before I go to bed I go to flightaware.com I type in the registration number and I just look at the flights of, for that day and I write them down in my journal and I've been doing that again for for since January 1st so I have all these pages of just flights for that area. Uh, so, yeah. so we have January right there, and then February, and this is March, April, that's May, that's June, all that is uh, July, and August, September, October, August, and November. So right now it's, as you can see there, Friday, November 11th. Uh, at Today at night I'm going to log in and I'll, I'll just copy down the flights for that day, for today. So yeah, so I'll do this until December 31st. And then at the end of December early January when I'm in, on vacation I will just get the stats how many flights did this aircraft do in total for a whole year how many mileage uh, how many destinations how many hours was it operating stuff like that uh, and it was just I just did it for fun just as a hobby just as a little side project I guess and I just wanted to show you guys my little you know, tracking log because I do have it on my channel on the side if you go it says there uh, tracking flight or what, what did I put I put something like that flight tracking or something like that and I have a little info there so if some of you have seen that no, don't know what it is this will give you some information as to what that is and I'm going to try to do this every year but every year I'll choose an, a different aircraft and I'll follow a different aircraft uh, I don't know what I'm going to follow for this following year but I'll, I'll get to that later and when I ever do decide I'll, I'll do a video talking about that but yeah this is just a little video showing you you know a little bit about that little project this project I've been working on for the past year I guess and just to maybe if you want to if you guys want to do it also it's pretty cool I mean to track of an aircraft the whole year is actually pretty interesting to see how where it goes where it's been how many miles it does stuff like that so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give you some ideas maybe you guys might, might want to track your own aircraft uh, just give you a good idea of, of this project that I've been working on hope you guys enjoyed and uh uh, oh yeah, this weekend I will be ordering a new model, so I'll probably um, be unboxing that next week, so stay tuned for that video. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon, have a nice weekend, and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.